really happy to be here. As always, uh, my name is Luis. I'm a success engineer here at Metabase. Uh, forgive me if uh, forgive me today for two reasons. One, if the internet connection is not very stable, or you see some choppy, or the audio is choppy. I'm not in my home right now, so it's uh, you know it's uh, luck, hundred percent luck uh, that um, everything will will work uh, fine today. And uh, why we are here? So we are here for seeing and talking about. I mean, it's. I would. I would say that we are here more to talk about um, self-service analytics rather than audit. Right? Audit is a basically um, um, a consequence of all this. Right? So I wanted to start um, asking every one of you if you can put in the chat what is the concept of self-service analytics for all of you guys. So let me tell you what this is, or, or, or try to give you an idea of what self-service analytics is. And just for reference, I've been working with this philosophy of self-service analytics just for a long, long time. I implemented self-service analytics um, philosophy back in uh, Mural, which is a startup from Argentina. And let me tell you the background of self-service analytics and, and why, why it's a need. I mean, and why you, know, you would see that Metabase as a product is designed, designed with this philosophy uh, as a concept, as a background, right? So um, way a long time back, right? When we didn't have products like Metabase or the many products that are around right now, um, BI was still a thing. And basically it meant that whenever someone needed data or information for their daily jobs, you would need someone to grab the data for you. Right, you would need maybe a person that knows SQL, maybe a person that, or there, there, may, there might be many, many layers between you and the data and the information you need for your daily job. So Metabase was built with the concept of everyone, no matter who, from the CEO to the very, very bottom of the company, or however you design, you know, the the pyramid, or you know, however you design the organizational structure, absolutely everyone should be able to go to Metabase and just get the data that you, that they need, right? Just, you know, very simple clicks. It's it's about that. It's as simple as that. Everyone should be able. No one should be in the middle. There should be no one like, you know, getting the data or doing the SQL for you. So you can see whenever you use Metabase that it's, you know, pretty simple. You get presented with your data. Maybe there's you know preset dashboards, preset questions like someone else did that. You know you can share your questions, you can share your dashboard just by you know copying the URL. It's as simple as that. But there's more. I mean, it's not about just giving the tool for you know uh, making self-service analytics. But there, there also you you need also uh, a validation if the uh, culture of your company is you know going with the tool, right? Metabase is a tool, maybe another other tool that you might be using. And again, th those are tools. Then you might have processes for getting self-service analytics, but also you need like some validation of, uh, I mean, if if the company or if your uh, colleagues are using the tools and the process, you, you set up for that, right? And this is this is basically everything about why we put this, this uh, webinar together. Like this is a webinar about you know, how you can know if people are effectively using the tool, how effectively people are using Metabase. And in this case, Metabase Analytics is the feature for that. So I'm going to share my screen. Again, I, I have a, um, in my computer, I have a local Metabase instance running. I created a few users and uh, I did some, you know, some actions with those users so I can have, uh, you know, populated uh, some, some of the dashboards that we put together. Let me tell you what this is. How does it work? And everything around that. So I'm gonna share my screen now. Let's jump straight to the product. And let me zoom on. So here's my database. I am logged in as an admin, and I am also again as I, as I explained before, I have a local metabase instance. This metabase instance is connected with an application database, with a you know a production grade pro, uh, uh, application database. Which might be MySQL or Postgres, depending entirely on your, uh, you know, what, what do you use um, or which database you use uh, um, internally in your companies. And I created three users. And this is also this is very important. This is also the pro 
slash enterprise, it doesn't matter which version of Metabase. This is the, the only license where you will get the Metabase analytics uh, collection. Um, this is a very special collection because we create this collection when um, you, you set up Metabase. So uh, the way that this collection is created is basically um, we, we, we start you know, creating objects on the fly whenever the, ins the instance initializes. And, and the data that this, uh, these things use is basically data that gets collected every single time that someone does something on uh, the product. So whenever someone uh, creates a question, whenever someone creates a dashboard, when someone you know, accesses a dashboard or a question, every single uh, one of those events gets logged into the Metabase application database. And the way we access this is uh, I mean, we, we, you will see that in your database, in your application database, there will be views that we create uh, on top of the uh, tables that Metabase has. So those views have a curated and a standardized, um, they, they have the curated and standardized data. Uh, this is the standard way of um, making, uh, you know, getting the data about how people use Metabase. And the reason we put this together is because we had people that uh, accessed this data in, in several ways and in non-performant ways. So we wanted to standardize this. Uh, so everyone was seeing the exact same data. Um, and and, and you, you can also create your own report from this. So I'm going to show you now um, what I have, um, what, what is the standard, and what also you can do from this. So Metabase Analytics is a special collection. It gets it is only on pro or enterprise versions. Um, and, and we build views, you know, in, in the application database so you can see the data in again in a standardized way. Um, you, can all, you can only see this if you're an admin or if you have permissions as a user to see the, the analytics collection. Um, and this is uh, things that we populate when the instance in initializes. And we we uh, have, I mean, we give or we provide to admin users of Metabase instances uh, things that are, you know, pre-populated. You know, you see here that are there are dashboards that are, um, I mean, were built by us. And, and again, this this um, uh, uh, all, all this content gets uh, you know improved every single version because we we find more stuff. Uh, we try to put as much information as as we can over here. We also build models of Metabase, so these are you know uh, sets and curated uh, sets of data that you can use. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in in just a second. And then there's all these questions uh, that you see here. Uh, which are questions that are included in this dashboards, right? This is this is the Metabase Analytics collection. Um, let's go a little little by little. I mean, what what you can use. So I was uh, I don't know if you heard me or not, but what I did for making this happen this is a local instance. It's running on my computer with a Postgres database. I created three users, an admin and two two other admins that I uh, that I used and I started clicking I created a few a few reports a few you know uh, um, dashboards that are made from x-rays and uh, I started you know I used I used those users to click around those dashboards so there's there's some activity right you will see you'll see activity here so let me go little by little what do we expose and what you can do with it um, again all this for the self service analytics um, uh, concept so you know, just let's start about. But let's start with this. You know, the metrics. This is like an overall dashboard of you know what is being used in your met in your metabase instance. You know, active users, uh, questions. You know, everything around alerts and subscriptions, which I have none, as you see here. Um, there are there are tables that we also expose, and you know there are also you know which are the questions that are seen most. As you see, this is like a question that I created some some days ago. I even have these questions even. Um, um, uh, are archived. I mean, this question is that these months are archived. In fact, we are about to start working on something that you guys um, uh, asked for a, a, for a long time, which is we will start, you know, getting all this information about which are, which are the cards that are used most, which are the dashboards that are used most, and if those things are not used, maybe we will archive those. You know, after the six months that has not been used, we will auto archive that. So again, you will have a let's say an automated workflow for uh, discarding stuff, 
for for you know like removing things that are not being used so no one you know searches for something that maybe it's not it's no no more relevant right so again all the view cards most view dashboards everything's like a very very simple dashboard uh that you can see again just very basic stuff very overall you can even filter by these dashboards you can even like uh, filter these by groups uh you can see that there are anonymous users that might be here as well um, you can copy, and again, all this in all this interface is is MetaBase itself, right? So um, this is like me being using MetaBase to uh, analyze the MetaBase usage, which is pretty cool. You can even do drill downs, drill throughs, see like everything is uh, with the MetaBase uh, interface. Let's go back to the analytics uh, collection. Uh, let's see things about the content. So you will see that you know um, you can now start you know drilling a little bit deeper on what is what is going on. What about the tables? What about the models that are being used? And again, each entity in MetaBase, tables, models, fields, every, every single thing is being tracked now. So you can see what is being used, what is being joined most. I mean, every single thing over there uh, can, can be tracked. You can even track by user. You can even track again by, by the group names or even if the users are active or not. As you know, in MetaBase, you can have these users that are, um, uh, you, you can even like deactivate users uh, and maybe you can see something from users that, that that are no longer using the product. You can also see by person. Again, all these are preset dashboards. You know, this is me. You know, I can even switch the, the user ID or the username. You can even search by the email. Uh, you can even see the alerts. Again, you can also expose this. If this was something that you want to give your users, your, your common users, you want to give them, a, you know, a, 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 a glimpse of, you know, hey, what you want to see how much you're using metabase or you want to see how much you, your you, you the the users that are in your group are using metabase you can also do that which is which is pretty cool right i mean in a in an organization with many many departments you can even uh i mean if you're you're doing a top down approach about you know implementing this self service culture you can even give you know every single person in the uh, or, or maybe the head, the head of the departments uh, you can give access to you know, this. This is how much your your team is using the data that that we built for them. So every single thing is being tracked. As you see, also the dashboards have tabs, so you can even go through all these tabs, you know, and have very very detailed information. Um, let's move on to you know dashboards. You know the ones that I like most are that are are the the the, the performance ones. Many many people call us to uh, call call the success team saying you no know, my my dashboards are slow, my questions are slow. So you can now have uh, you know um, a really interesting um, uh, um, very interesting details about you know the performance of this of the dashboards or the questions. You can even jump straight to the query logs. You see like you know. Queries are ad hoc because they, they were SQL questions, you know, map tiles, everything you know, around performance. Um, you know, there's people. There was one that I was seeing. Uh, let me try to check that out. Uh, let me try to check that. If if there's any questions, by the way, about you know any sing, any any sp special thing that you might you might want to see, for example, concepts about visualization settings, what are all of this? Just leave the, the questions in the comments. I will like be super super happy to um, to to cover those uh, uh, when when we open the questions. Here is the one. Um, so look look at this because this is pretty cool. You can even check about uh, no sorry this was not the one. Uh, it was about caching. So you can even see uh, the caching for, for people that are very, very concerned about performance. You know that MetaBase has caching. You know, caching can be uh, basically MetaBase starts sending uh, those, those results of those questions to the MetaBase application database. And then you can hit the cache or not, right, on every single question, depending if the question here is the performance overview. Thank you. Uh, I was uh, I was a little bit lost. So you can see all the performance things about you know caching, you no know, um, the, the the cache hit rate. We have for we we have a customer that has a data lake of I don't remember how many how many like petabytes, and uh, they were super super concerned about this cache hit rate because every single query that they did to metabase with metabase to data lake it was costing them for like you know several thousand dollars and uh, they were like we want to have a cash hits of a hundred percent I was I was saying I mean I told them that that's that's 
I mean, almost non-possible unless you want to see stale data every single time. But again, MetaBase can can I mean, MetaBase gives you now like this uh, cache hit rate in which uh, every single query that you do can hit the cache, and you will see it here. Uh, as you see, we we put a lot a lot of information about what those questions are. You can even drill to the actual questions and to the actual data. You know this. This is the cache, the, the questions that did not hit the cache. You can see, you can see maybe the reason, you know, maybe the user changed something. There's a lot, a lot of data that we put together. Uh, let's go back. And again, these are all the tabs that you can see, you know, the, there's performance per user, performance per database, performance per questions and per dashboard. And let's say that, I mean, all of this is really cool. We love this, you know, things about subscriptions. We have people that call us because you know, some subscriptions don't uh, were not delivered or something. You can see them there. But let's say that you know you see all of this and it's like, yeah, Luis, it's this is all cool. But I need I need more. I need like to actually build my own questions in my own dashboards. And this is also the reason why when we did this feature, we thought about why don't we expose the data from the application database as models, right? You know already the concept of models. It's like um, a superset of a table. So we put you know things together, and you can save all those that complexity as a model in which you can also put you know descriptions. You can put like um, um, metadata on top of those models. So we have all these models that you can use to create your own uh, your your own questions, right? So let's let's do let's do something. Let's click on this model. Let's see what this model is. You know the view log. Okay, so this is each row describes a question, model, table, or category. This is pretty cool. Let's explore this model. And let's see what we can do with it. Okay, so I have, you know, um, I have users, I have entities, you know, I have qualified IDs. Why don't we join this model with something else, right? We join the view log, and then we use uh, also the uh, people, right? And let's do what what you have in people. I have the user ID, and I also have them all the user ID, so I can join these two together, and have, you know. Uh, which uh, users collect my questions? Which users collect my my entities? Which users use my 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 entities? Um, so why don't we do now maybe you know timestamp? We we do something like give me uh, the distribution of this. Whoops, of course I have only one day because I, I use this. Uh, yep, this is not maybe this is not very relevant. I would say <laughs> uh, let's do this by the ID, right? So let's let's do account of this uh, per. To count of rows, yes, per uh, user ID. And there we go, and just put this into a pie chart. So as you can see, this users one, two, and three, as you can see, I can use these models to start building questions uh, out of the MetaBase application database. So I can now build stuff completely for me uh, without, I mean, using any, any kind of preset stuff. And I can start building those dashboards, and again, Doing on using all the magic that MetaBase provides to me for building content for my users. Again, now the the I would say that when 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 we started having this, now the the you know the, the this is like kind of full circle. Uh, before this feature, you were you you uh, I would say you had only I would say a biased or very I would say. Um, uh, reduced version or maybe a very uh, uh, dispersed version of the truth. Now with this uh, feature, you can uh, see you know everything around the usage of Metabase, um, no matter where you are. I mean, no matter if you're deploying this to, to a customer, if you're deploying this for you internally, even if you're doing embedding, you can do, you can see, you know, the, all the, all, all the activity of the embeddings, everything is, is here. Everything is presented as, you know, data or preset dashboards, and you can you can also um, you know you can also see uh, preset questions that we we also did here. So having said this, this is an, an incredible feature. Again, uh, a feature that will allow you to see exactly what is happening, but also seeing seeing if you are uh, you are going you know and you're kind of achieving that uh, chimera of philosophy, which is the self service analytics concept. Um, I will stop right here so we can start with questions. And forgive me again if, if you weren't able to hear something or if you want me to do something specific, just let me know in the comments. I will stop here and let's let's start with 
you know, questions and doubts about uh, this feature or maybe in any other feature that you, you might want to see. 